Mm-hmm. Pizza dude's got 30 seconds. Welcome to another Late Pizza video. Uh, my name is Steve-O, host of the Late Pizza Pop Culture Podcast. Got another unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, just recently released NECA Ultimate Casey Jones figure. Just a little look at the box there. Nice. I love, I love these window displays. Uh, I'm not an inbox guy, obviously, with the unboxing videos, but I do like the potential for people that have them in boxes you don't have to just look at the box art um, it's just really nice to be able to pop it open and see all the accessories see the different heads super nice but with all that out of the way let's go ahead flip this down to the bottom And it looks like, uh, I think, all of the accessories are the same besides the uh, little hockey mask and, of course, the unmasked head. I think all of these uh, weapons and sports gear that he comes with and the golf bag, I think, are unchanged from the first one. Uh, my original Casey Jones, who I've got off to the side here for a comparison in just a second, uh, I've only got the smaller weapons in his in his little golf bag, so I don't exactly remember if he comes with the big hockey stick and the cricket bat, but I'm, I'm almost positive that he did. I'm not a big fan of these little uh, the replacements, I guess, that they're using for the zip ties or just the straight elastic bands. Uh, some of them aren't too bad. Some of them are really hard to get a hold of and actually cut through them to get the figure out of the box. Mr. Jones to patiently stand over here for a second while we get everything else out of the box. I do have uh, actually some NECA stands on the way because I'm sure anybody watching this video or that collects toys at all knows, uh, especially the top heavy figures, can be a real pain to get the stand up perfectly straight. And uh, as you can see, uh, all of the extra hands, I'm just going to leave in for now. I'm not going to switch those out right at the moment. But I uh, just wanted to get a look at all of the more mainline accessories that he comes with. Of course, you got the uh, Jose Canseco bats. Hope he didn't pay money for those. Cricket bat, uh, golf club, hockey stick, goalie stick, classic leather bag. And you've got the unmasked head there, likeness of Elias Coteus himself, which looks pretty good, I think seen a lot of uh, pretty funny memes and comparisons that he looks a lot like Scott Stapp, and I agree. I think if you released a Scott Stapp Creed action figure for some reason, uh, you could probably use that head sculpt and get away with it. So we've got, this is new Casey here, and then I've got my original Casey right here. I don't know if my video quality is going to be good enough. Stepped it up from the phone, but you can look at the elbows and see the old Casey has got the double jointed elbows, and the new Casey just has the single swivel. Other than that, uh, yeah, he's pretty much the exact same uh, with the masked up head on. I will be keeping this, uh, the original, to display with my in disguise Raphael because I think that set 
uh, comes together for a reason. Those figures look great together. But this one, I am going to pop that unmasked he uh, head onto here just to have, you know, regular civilian Casey Jones so I can display him with the Ultimate April that we also just got. Uh, and yeah, I think scale-wise, uh, color scheme, paint job, he really looks great. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch those heads out. Unmasked Casey Jones. A little bit closer there. And uh, yeah, he looks great. Um, that's pretty much specifically why I bought him, is just to be able to hang out with April, uh, you know, do some photo shoots, recreate scenes from the movies. I am one of those people. Uh, there was a couple months ago, I think it was, there was this mystery listing that popped up on Walmart.com for a new NECA. Uh, farmhouse two pack the Casey Jones and April two pack uh, the description didn't match uh, the description was for a quarter scale the big big Raphael um, but that has not been canceled yet it still hasn't been officially announced yet there's no images or artwork so I'm I'm 100% prepared for that to get canceled but if it does happen uh, I think that would be great to get April in her more leisurely attire when they're at the farmhouse in the movie to get Casey Jones uh, with the vest off, um, it's got to come with a hammer, right? That's got to be the number one accessory, a hammer and an apple. I don't think they'll give us a porch swing. But, um, yeah, that is a brief little unboxing video for the Ultimate Casey Jones Unmasked Edition, newly released from NECA. Uh, I do have another unboxing video on the way. I also picked up the Euro Edition uh, all purple super shredder from secret of the use that was also just just started hitting walmart shelves um i do have that puts me up to all three of the super shredders so i'll be able to put all those side by side do a nice little comparison what the differences are the similarities um but yeah really love this casey jones figure uh i wouldn't say it's an absolute must have um and honestly they they probably could have gotten away with just bundling the mask and the unmasked head as two new accessories in some future pack uh, maybe even the ultimate April that would have been a nice just throw those in there but um on the other hand it is nice to have a civilian Casey to display with your April and a uh, more battle ready Casey to display with your Raff in disguise or you know mixing it up with the boys taking on foot soldiers so um yeah really like him uh five stars great figure uh if you get a chance Definitely check out the show, Late Pizza Pop Culture Podcast. Uh, we're available on Spotify, Google, Apple Podcasts, anywhere anywhere you listen to podcasts. Uh, every episode, I basically take uh, a brief little dive into the history of a different film. Um, not really the history, more so the production of the movie, the legacy of the movie, uh, how it stands today, how it came together, things like that. So if movie production interests you, movie trivia interests you at all, Definitely check out the show. We're up to uh, six episodes, the seventh coming soon, and episodes one and four are both about uh, the 1990 TMNT movie and the follow-up Secret of the Use. So if you're a Turtle fan, just want to check out those episodes, that would be great. Every like and listen helps. Um, but that is going to be it for this video. Thanks for hanging out. Again, I'm Steve-O, and have a great day.